If you cannot boot into Windows Recovery environment, then you are at the right place as we have the solutions for you to fix this issue. Let's get started. This is the Windows Club. Windows Recovery Environment is an environment that is used to repair the Windows operating system when an error occurs. After entering WinRE, you can perform different operations on your system, like System Restore, Factory Reset, Uninstall Windows Updates, Startup Repair, etc. If for some reason you cannot boot into Windows Recovery Environment, this video will help you. Let's get started. Method 1. Check the status of the Windows Recovery Environment You can enable and disable the Windows Recovery Environment by executing the required command in the Elevated Command Prompt or Elevated PowerShell window. You won't be able to boot into the Windows Recovery Environment if it is disabled. Check the status of the Windows Recovery Environment Launch an Elevated Command Prompt or Elevated PowerShell Type CMD in the Windows search and choose to run command prompt as an administrator. Type reagentc slash info and press enter. The Windows RE status should now show enabled. If it shows disabled, run reagentc hyphen enable in the elevated command prompt and hit enter. Method 2. Use other methods to enter the Windows recovery environment. There are multiple ways to enter the Windows recovery environment. You can follow this link for details. Try all of these methods and see if you are successful or not. You can do so by interrupting the normal boot process, using the Shift plus Restart, using the Settings app, using the bootable USB drive. To interrupt the normal boot process, shut down your computer. Wait till it shuts down completely. Now turn on your computer. Press and hold the power button immediately when you see the Windows or manufacturer's logo on the screen. This will force shut down your computer. Repeat the steps until you see the preparing automatic repair screen. Now you should be in WinRE. Alternatively, click on the start button, then click on the power icon. Now. Press and hold the shift key and click restart. In Windows 11, open settings and go to system and then select recovery. Now select restart now under the advanced startup option. To enter the Windows recovery environment from USB, you have to create a bootable USB drive following this guide with the Windows 11 or 10 operating system. Then change the boot order to boot from the USB drive. When you boot from USB, click Next and select Repair your computer following this link. Method 3. Check if you have accidentally deleted the Windows Recovery Partition. Windows Recovery Partition is created at the time of Windows installation or when you upgrade your Windows from a lower version to a higher version. If you delete the Recovery Partition on Windows 11 or 10, you will not be able to boot into recovery environment. To check this, open the disk management using Windows Search. See if the recovery partition is showing there. If not, you might have deleted the recovery partition by mistake. If the recovery partition is not available, you need to perform an in-place upgrade or clean installation of Windows. Method 4 perform an in-place upgrade or a clean installation of Windows. An in-place upgrade is the process of installing the Windows operating system without removing the currently installed Windows OS. This process does not erase data. You can perform an in-place upgrade following this link and see if it helps. If the problem is not fixed by doing an in-place upgrade, the last resort is to perform a clean installation of Windows. This process will delete all the data from your C drive, provided you select the correct drive while formatting the C drive from this link for clean installation of Windows. So that's it. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.